Good day. This is my Pecha Kucha for my Quality Assurance Technical Internship Application for SIM. A little about myself. My full name is Mark Yui Kayagan Balili, and my second name is not pronounced as Hui, but rather a mix of the words you and we. So Yui, because I get that name mispronounced as much. You can call me Marky, and my hobbies are gaming, and I have an interest in new technology and tech talks. I am a third-year computer engineering student from the University of San Carlos. Fun fact, computer engineering was not my first choice. My first choice was chemical engineering, and I spent two years there before shifting to CPE. It was on the second semester of my second year in CHE that I had a hard time learning topics because of the transition from face-to-face -to, -face to online because of the pandemic. So you might be wondering, why computer engineering? Why CPE? Amidst the pandemic, I developed a keen interest in the potential of computers and technology, both in terms of hardware and software. The reason is simple. I engage with and use technology every single day. Exploring the science and behind-the-scenes workings of computers became a fascination, sparking questions like what they are made of, how they collaborate with other system components, why they compute so fast, um, how algorithms work, and what makes them speed up work processes. Moreover, the pandemic shed light on the advantages of being in the tech industry. The field is not only in high demand, but also facilitates a work-from-home setup, providing flexibility and adaptability. The shift in course also made me discover more about myself and my passion for delving into the intricate world of technology. So why SIMF? SIMF works for the community, is the community. A team of developers, innovators, and entrepreneurs gathered in a collaborative workspace, eager to bring their diverse skills and ideas to life. People who share the same passion for creating innovative solutions to address current challenges and push the boundaries of what technology could achieve. It aligns with my values, and I want to take part in making solutions that have real-world impact. That's why I would love to be a part of that team. These are my skills in languages. I learned the basics of each of these languages through school applications, like assignments and projects. We use C and Java as well as a little bit of Python. Um, use HTML, CSS, and PHP to develop a web application, as well as Android Studio for mobile app development. We also use MATLAB for a thesis which all of these languages, I have a basic understanding of the syntax of each. So why me? Why me? I believe I am an OC type of person. Um, I pay attention to every detail. I observe what I can observe and probably make something out of it. My friends also tell me and believe that I am fit to become a QA tester. I also found interest in ensuring precision and accuracy in processes and products. And I recognize the crucial role of QA in delivering a positive user experience by guaranteeing product reliability. My first work experience was with Abeho Waters Corporation. That was in the year 2019 when I was still in senior high. Their company is like a mini MCWD. For those of you who don't know what MCWD means, I mean, MCWD stands for, it's, it means Metropolitan Cebu Water District. They are a big water supplier in mainland Cebu, and Abeo Waters Corporation is also a water supplier, but they only focus on the Talamban area of Cebu. There, I was able to get a first glimpse of what it was like to be in the real world. I was able to do office work on the first week and field work on the second. I also saw how crucial it was to deliver great quality products um, in their context, water, um, because a lot of people will be using it. During my recent internship in the previous year, I had the opportunity to work at QP5 Philippines, a dynamic marketing and advertising company specializing in the development of web applications for clients and businesses. While at QP5, I collaborated with a team of designers using Figma and developers proficient in WordPress and PHP to bring client websites to life. I was also given the task to try to transition 
and redevelop the company's website from WordPress to React.js. We only followed a React template online, and I made significant progress, progress in implementing various features. Unfortunately, I was not able to finish it because of the limited duration of my internship. In addition, I gained hands-on experience in manual quality assurance. This involved checking every button and input on client websites to identify any error and ensure they functioned correctly. Any issues I encountered were documented in a Notion, like yeah, the Notion app established by my superiors, contributing to the continuous improvement of the projects. Our research project Project Rain focused on utilizing rainwater as a water supply solution. Uh, this was our research back when I was in senior high. So here, we collected rainwater and purified it through an osmosis chamber, making it suitable for use in kitchens and bathrooms. On the practical side, we made sure that the tubes were installed without any leaks. This was crucial for the system to work well. We paid attention to this, to this detail to guarantee a solid and reliable setup. Now in terms of making sure things were good, we set clear standards. These standards were like rules that helped us ensure the water supply was dependable and safe. By sticking to these rules and getting things right practically, Project Rain aimed to provide a straightforward and reliable solution for water supply challenges. Next up. Our journey to securing second place at Sisafi involved a strong focus on quality assurance. In the build phase, we examined every aspect from motors to sensors, ensuring top-notch condition. condition. This attention to detail was because we wanted to minimize the risk of unexpected failures during matches. We also did rigorous testing and algorithm fine-tuning to ensure that our sumo bot responded accurately. But with such a limited time, our robot did not look pretty, but it delivered. Next, the on-the-spot web development competition was a mix of a little bit of everything. Happiness, excitement, and stress. Although our goal was mainly just to have fun, uh, we got stressed because during the competition, when we tried to put some functionalities and features on our website, we just could not do it because the LAN connectivity was really slow. Up to the final minutes, I checked if everything was loading and doing fine, uh, removed some features that made, that made the website buggy before my teammates presented it on the stage. We still managed to get a place, though we know it could have been better. Next up, my friends have developed Project Titan, a job application web app tailored for Cebu's out-of-school youth. Um, the app tasked me with ensuring everything runs smoothly. If I encounter any issues, I'll log them in the Git repository they have set up for tracking. Now this project is in preparation for submission to Google Solution Challenge. And I'm currently working on our thesis project, which is entitled Development of an Ultrasonic Measurement Device Using Off-the-Shelf Components. The project involves building an ultrasonic generating and capturing system using MATLAB. Uh, additionally, I'll be developing MATLAB, C++, and Python APIs to enhance accessibility for our users. So, de delivering high-quality products is not only limited to applications. This, this is related to what I said earlier. And creating top-notch products goes beyond just applications. When we talk about products, it's not only about how sturdy a thing is, it's also about how smooth it feels to use, how easy it is to understand, and the feelings it sparks. Looking at the big picture, delivering quality isn't just about the physical parts, but also the invisible stuff that makes users happy. Basically, making great products isn't just about what you can touch. It's about how it makes you feel. I would like to share a bit about my interest for Tech Talks, where I have had the privilege of attending various events over the past few years. The first event I attended was at DevFest in 2022. It was incredible to see a diverse group of people come together, all sharing the same enthusiasm. Being there with my friends made the experience even more enjoyable, and I can confidently say it was time well spent. Not to mention, 
the event merchant was fantastic. The second event that I attended was the International Women's Day in 2023. I was encouraged by the positive experience at Dead Fest, so I invited my girlfriend to join me at this event. While it's true that she's a woman, the main reason was to expose her to the inspiring talks and the unique atmosphere these events offer. It was about sharing the experience, the incredible insights and motivation these gatherings can provide. The most recent event I attended was Google I.O. 2023. It was really interesting. The speakers showed cool new tech ideas and ways to make digital stuff better for users. It got everyone excited about what's coming in the tech world. And that's it.